Tabs are sections of material that we leave to hold parts together, typically used when we're machining multiple parts out of one piece of material and we're going completely around the part. We don't wish the part to pop loose and break the cutting tool while we're going. So in this case, I've left tabs in between these three parts to help minimize the chance of chatter because these clamps are going to be removed shortly and we're going to machine the end in this internal slot. To set up tabs, if we're working in a contour, we're going to select the parameters. We're going to go to the tabs option and turn tabs on. Now we can let it create automatic tabs, tell how many tabs we want or the maximum distance between tabs, which works great when working with multiple parts out of one plate. But in my case, I have some clamps and I want to make sure I position the tabs exactly where I want them. So I've told it I'm going to manually create the tabs. I tell it the tab length. So this distance here is a half inch. The tab thickness I made 25 thou. And I have the tab motion set to partial. If I set it to full, the full thickness of the material will be left. So I can change it, go full. You can see the graphic area here. The entire thickness of the part will be left. The width will remain the same here at the top of the part and I can still change the ramp angle or I can make it vertical. For my case I want a partial tab 25 thou thick that's easy to break off and file the corner where it was. I can overwrite tabs or I can use the feed plane for full height tabs. When I'm creating manual tabs I can tell them I'm going to click the start of the tab, the midpoint or the end and to create my tabs manually, I click the position button. I'll go back to the graphics area. I'm going to rotate around and I'll say I would like a tab here. And you notice the two lines that move. So I need to click and place the tab where I would like it. And I continue to do that for everywhere I would like a tab. Working my way around the part or parts. So I create the tabs exactly where I want them. I'll press enter when I'm done and I'm back here and I've created my tabs. If I set it to automatic, the system will place four tabs equally spaced around each part or I can just set the maximum distance. It'll use that and create however many tabs are required. Okay. I can also tell it to create tabs on shapes that are less than whatever XY value I put in here, or I can say tab everything you find. But for this part, I'm going to go back to the manual, stick with the selection, and say OK.